It's a pleasure to be here today. I didn't expect to see this many people here after lunch. I uh, appreciate the attendance. Um, I hope I can stay awake after the jet lag that's setting in. When I was brainstorming with one of my partners, Mike Murphy, about doing this master class regarding the topic, I wanted to figure out what would be interesting. And he suggested the socialization of hotels today. That sounded perfect until I wrote it down on paper and you saw the image. When I wrote it down, I, it looked like I was getting ready to prepare a paper or a policy statement on a failed run for a presidential uh, debate. Anyway, obviously, we're not here to speak about the socialization of the hotel industry, rather the other meaning of the word, socialization. And yes, it's the American English version of the word with a Z, uh, but it's the activity of mixing socially with others. Hotels have always been social. This is nothing new. Um, they've always been places of social gatherings, whether for weddings and celebrations, or vacation poolside, summer getaways with family and friends. What changes is how hotels are being used as our society evolves, and along with that evolution, the design directions that we are seeing. Please indulge me in the next few slides that I offer as an explanation of where we are with a few segments of the current design in hotels. Trends in hotel design react to social factors. We're always trying to maintain relevance. I don't know about you, but at the end of 2016, with the emphasis on tax reform agenda in the US, I thought we were heading into a new gilded age of lavish, gold-encrusted opulence. We were looking at, excuse the pun, but we were going to be making hotels great again. It was going to be smooth sailing ahead. But a mere 17 months later, here in 2018, it looks more like we're going to be headed for some stormy seas ahead. Who knew? To maintain relevance, we need to understand what affects social aspects of society, such as social media? This is a uh, really big topic today. It's all about bragging, sharing opinions and experiences. And it allows for our social views to be shared in real time. We are, are given feedback, good or bad, accurate or inaccurate, real or fake. Feedback is given instantaneously. Our data-driven life, where we willingly continue to inform everyone about everything we do, everywhere we go, what we buy, what or who we like. And that leads others to be more aware of, at least certain aspects of, what and how much we do in our daily lives. The, quantifi the quantified self. This refers to all methods we measure to meet our own expectations and compare ourselves. We quantify everything we do, how many steps we take, how many calories we eat, how many hours of sleep, and on and on. These data-driven tools have brought the rise of mathematical or parametric design in architecture, the algorithms of the increasingly complex designs we have seen. Now, social style, on the other hand, is subjective. It's objective, and it's trendy. When we design to meet these expectations, it is intuitive. It is what feels right. Then we search for the underlying meaning to quantify it, to explain the rationale for the design, which helps to hopefully get us to increasing revenue. A socially relevant design becomes a trend. It directly affects the increase in the amount of money being spent and the revenue being generated. We spend money on what we like. This goes without saying, especially when trying to increase desire. 
combining our wants, needs, our aspirations and expectations. Our designs will then help in increasing market share. A socially relevant property becomes popular and hopefully increases market share. Some millennial statistics here illustrate the market potential. Of note is that there are 2.2 billion millennials globally. 80% of millennials say it's important that hotels set and share preferences. This is the market. And a larger market share increases revenue as relevance ebbs and flows and social norms come and go. So do contemporary design trends. In the end, it's all about getting our friends to go where we go, waiting in line and spending money together. That is a good thing. Many factors create or influence trends. Interior design and the level or type of hotel service are directly influenced by social trends. And they are the most manipulative. They can change quickly. In recent years, certain brands have made aggressive moves to appeal to the next generation traveler who wants to stay in a well-designed hotel with social lobbies where they can work and play. Some brands even eliminate the front desk, like Moxie, where everything centers on the bar, and the bartender barista is the concierge. It's the front desk. It's the room service. They're all in one. Architecture has always followed art. Social influences on architecture historically follow or mimic the art or social trends of the society they are part of. Whether it's the Beaux-Arts, the Bauhaus, or the current parametric designs based on mathematical algorithms, hotel buildings are more permanent. They represent the property for a significantly longer time and are more or less permanent. They cannot be changed as frequently as the interiors or management style can. Regardless of the architectural style, current trends focus on iconic images identifiable, memorable, noticeable in a crowd, such as the Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai or the Shangri-La Hotel, the Shard in London. They provide a place to be seen and to see, the elevated public spaces, the engaged street level, such as Tyre Woods hitting golf balls off the Burj Al Arab. They are integrated, harmonious with the community. They feel good or in today's world, they're sustainable. They connect with the social or moral ideals of the guest, whether or not those ideals are real or aspirational. Social trends in hotel design are as diverse as the places they're located in. This presentation is based on years of experience that spans the globe. While certain trends span the globe, the only constant characteristic is that every place has its own unique solution. India is very different than Italy, Indonesia, or Indiana. And at the same time, Mumbai is very different than Kolkata, Chennai, or Goa. As with locations, social trends and hotel design are as diverse as the activities they support. How we design is different when we design to accommodate football fans, casino lovers, or theme park families, or luxury car aficionados, or Las Vegas mosh pit pool partiers, or just men in a meeting room. Successfully supporting and enhancing the activity experience is key to the design of the hotel. As with locations and activities, social trends and hotel design are as diverse as the brands and the owners that work to differentiate themselves from each other. Our experience with the wide range of brands informs us of the uniqueness, similarities of these trends. While some specific styles or focus may differ, these all are the underlying threads that form the basis of some of the socialization trends in recent hotel design. I would like to finish up by illustrating a few current or recent hotel projects with an emphasis 
on socialization of the building, the aesthetic and design, the more permanent stuff. Naples, Florida is an affluent community on the Gulf of Mexico. It's primarily populated in the winter months and pretty much deserted in the, in the summer. This boutique hotel of 24 keys and residential development 38 luxury units creates a social town center that encompasses a street level retail with a rooftop public town square. This takes advantage of the sunset views of the Gulf creating a, a social place for people to gather. Nashville, Tennessee, home to Dolly Parton and the Grand Old Opry, is known as the country music capital of the world. It is also known as the Bachelorette Party of America. What Las Vegas is for men, Nashville is for women. This 34-story, 30, 533-key guest room hotel is located adjacent to the Country Music Hall of Fame and the Nashville Convention Center. And it is designed to cater to the specific clientele, women in town to party. Remember, that guy serving you that mocha cappuccino? He could be the next Blake Shelton. Located in the heart of Dubai's commercial business and entertainment district along Sheikh Zayed Road, this 180,000 square meter office, retail, and hotel mixed use development is intended to be a city within a city. The Conrad Dubai provides a large outdoor recreational pool deck, much like the party pools spaces in Vegas, but with the temperament of Dubai. These recreational facilities provide a picturesque landscape oasis for both the hotel and public users complete with high dining al fresco and function facilities for outdoor weddings or commemorative functions. Another urban oasis is the Bangkok Marriott Hotel Sukhumvit and Marriott Executive Apartments. I had to read that so I don't mispronounce it. Unlike the Conrad Dubai with its public venue in the podium, this property replaces the helipad with a bartender, creating a public rooftop venue to see the city below and a place to be seen. The Bangkok Marriott Hotel Sukhumvit creates a distinctive profile in the skyline, differentiating it from the surrounding buildings. Guest amenities for the hotel and service apartments are located on the podium. Located at the centerpiece of the SCBD in the heart of the business and financial district of Jakarta, the 111-story Signature Tower Jakarta is designed to be a physical magnet of social activity for a segment of that population. In addition to two hotels, office space, retail mall, and 10,000 square meters of convention and meeting facilities, the main draw is the podium rooftop entertainment district. This is modeled after the nighttime entertainment venues of of clubs, restaurants, and performance arenas found in Vegas, but again with Indonesian sensitivities. This proposed project, the Mandarin Oriental at 1138 Peachtree, was a casualty of the 2009 crash. With completed construction documentation and permits in hand, this unrealized development took an urban Hong Kong chic hotel and transplanted it to the southeastern United States. In particular, the 58-story the hotel and residential tower included the lobby and restaurants above the 20th floor. This is located in the Midtown section of Atlanta, which is business and residential. So this provided a public after-work venue or would have provided a public after work venue to take in the view of the downtown skyline. More recently, the development of the SLS Atlanta Hotel and Residence on the same exact property illustrates a new interpretation of the same idea, although in a much cut back and streamlined fashion. 
Another project that is taking a cue from Las Vegas by combining a resort facility with an urban suburban site is the North Hills 4 development in Raleigh, North Carolina. This autograph collection hotel with 196 keys and 273 branded residences will be the first urban mixed use development of this style in this area. It is located in what was traditionally tobacco country. This project, the Mancool Hotel Service Apartments and Spa, located in Dubai, is an interpretation of an individual lifestyle experience within an industrial luxury theme. By creating an eclectic mix of polished concrete and rough rendered surfaces as a backdrop of the industrial eclecticism, the design provides a residential feel that is free from the more expected arabesque references that are common in Dubai hospitality projects. The Atlanta Airport Marriott Gateway. This is representative of airport hotels, but this is being used more for transient meetings. In a traditional sense, this 403 hotel, key hotel, was constructed to support the Georgia International Convention Center. Since it is connected to the Atlanta airport via an automated people mover, it has been used more and more for day trip meetings. People fly into Atlanta in the morning, set up meetings that take place in the coffee shop, and people who are located in Atlanta meet them, and then they all leave in the evening, and the people fly out. They're not staying overnight, they're just drinking coffee. There are future office buildings to support this aeroplex. And in fact, Porsche Cars of North America has their headquarters in Atlanta on the other side of the airport. They have built, along with their headquarters, a hotel. And they're marketing meeting events with this test track. There's a test track at their headquarters where you can go and drive the cars. So they are targeting Porsche luxury car enthusiasts say someone who lives in Los Angeles, which is five hours away, wants to have a meeting with someone who's in London, which is seven hours away, they can fly to Atlanta, stay at the hotel, have their meeting in the hotel, or whatever function, and then relax by trying out the latest Porsche on their own private test track. Never being, they will never realistically be off the airport grounds. This is another proposed hotel for Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. And it takes the airport Marriott a step further by locating this property connected to the airport and Atlanta's mass transit system. It includes office buildings as well as commercial space. So this is not a new concept for other highly urban American or European cities, but it is reflective of the expanding reach of airports as commercial and social, and social hubs. Of course, the JW Marriott Aero City in New Delhi is a local example of this type of development here in India. Gaming and casinos are still very popular. Like Las Vegas, the emphasis on conventions and function events, as well as retail and entertainment, is more prevalent than gaming as seen here in the Harris Cherokee Casino Resort, which is a 725 key hotel in the mountains of North Carolina. And finally, a business hotel that doubles as a traditional point of destination resort with ballroom facilities to appropriately handle weddings are still in vogue, such as the Leela Palace Hotel Chennai, which is one of my favorites. In summary, in some of the more developed markets where we are designing properties, recent trends are more iconic and less pragmatic. They're more focused on standing out from the crowd. This is a trend that is reflective of the strength of the current market. But it is a trend that is a bellwether of a time that is to come when we'll have more pragmatic and less gilded designs but we will still be very social. Thank you.